Mountaineers, welcome to Mountaineers Adventures. Last week, we learned to trust God with our work. Now, I want you to watch this quick clip and think about what are we going to learn about today? So watch the clip. Story bots. I'm scared, just like I said. That's why I hide under my covers and tremble in my bed of what? I'm not quite sure, but it has three eyes, a spooky smile, and polka dot of fur. I'm scared, and I'm shaking like it's chilly. I'm scared, I really have the willies. I'm scared, and my parents say it's silly that my imagination has my hair standing on end. Sometimes I'm frightened, something new. Being all alone or strange noises that pursue. Sometimes it's snakes or Halloween. Watching scary movies or a fear of being seen by lots of people who are creepy. But I'm scared. I can cuddle up with someone who cares. Check in the closet, make sure that nothing's there. Breathe deep and let my feelings be shared. Sometimes I have fear of heights. Sneaky, creepy crawlers are the dark and stormy nights. Sometimes it's doctors who give me shots. Taking yucky medicine or itchy chicken pox. When I'm scared, I can talk about it with someone who cares. Check in the closet, make sure that nothing's there. Be brave and tell my fears to be So there. All right, what did you see on the clip? What were they doing? They were thinking about something. What did you see on the clip? They were singing about something. Are any of you afraid of things that were on the video? I've been afraid of this school thing, you know, and worrying and being afraid about passing my classes. Cause you know, I'm back in school, right? But so how should we handle our fears? Guess what? By trusting God. We're going to see how Jesus handled a scary time in his life in this lesson. Now I need you to stand up and repeat after me. I will trust God with my fears. We're gonna point to ourselves. I will trust. We're gonna trust. Who we gonna trust? We're gonna trust God with our what? <laughs> our fears, because we're a little scared. All right, so this month, our teens are leading us in prayer. So I want you to get your hearts and minds ready for prayer. And we're gonna have our team, Kalia, to pray for us. And then I want you to stand up and give the Lord some praise as we sing our song, Thank You, Lord. I'll see you back in a few. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for letting us live another day and for protecting us from COVID-19. Thank you for the food that we have and the clothes that we wear on our backs. Thank you for the warmth from our homes. I know with quarantine, we weren't able to visit our friends and family, which could make us feel lonely. But because of God, we know that you are always there with us. So if you ever feel like you have nobody to talk to, remember that God is there. With that, I say, amen. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn how to sing a new song, and we're going to learn sign language movements. Isn't that exciting? Yeah! Wonderful. You're going to love doing sign language. Now, we're going to learn the sign language movements to the words of the song, Thank You, Lord. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah! Wonderful. Now, first, let's stand in a straight line. So face me with your arms to the side so that I can show you the movements. So stand up. Mm-hmm. Right, and put your hands down here. Now, a lot of sign language movements are based off letters from the alphabet. So let's take a look at the word Lord. Lord is made with an L, like this, and it goes from this side of your body all the way to this side of your body. So let's try it. Make an L with your hand, use your thumb and your index finger, and bring it from this side all the way to this side of your body. Am I doing this right, Miss Arlene? That's right. Yes, Amani, you're doing it correctly. That's right. Now, let's move our arms together like this. Ready? One, two, three. Move from left to right. Okay? One more time. Take the L and move from left to right. Excellent. Wonderful. 
Now remember, you still sign with your right hand, even if you are left-handed. So let's do it again while I watch you. Always use your right hand, okay? Okay, this is fun. Great. All right, now for the words thank you, the sign is very easy. You take both hands and you move them to touch your cheek. Am I doing it right? Yes, good, Justin, just like that. Okay, everyone, now let's do thank you together. Move your hands and arms while I say the words. Ready? Yeah! Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good job, everyone. Now, I want to talk about something that's very important. We're talking about God, right? Okay, so we call him Lord, we call him God. It's very important that we look upward to the sky like this. See? And we have to smile and show our excitement and our gratitude to God. So let's try it together again, okay? Here we go. Thank you, Lord. I see. Amani, you're doing a great job. She looks very excited, doesn't she, you all? All right, now... The last movement is for the words, I just want. And when you want something, you bring it to you like this. See, look at how I bring both arms and hands closer to me. This is how you say, I just want. Very good, very good. Now, when you're finished, bring your both hands together like this. And this indicates that you are finished. You guys are doing great. Now we're gonna learn how to sing an arrangement of Thank You, Lord, okay? So we will use the sign language movements while we sing. All right, I need a volunteer. I need someone to sing. Can I get a volunteer? Ooh, ooh, I wanna sing. Okay, Imani, wonderful. Now I want you to sing Thank You, Lord, okay? The music track is gonna begin and I want you to come on in and sing the song one time. Then we'll do our sign language movements while you are singing. Everybody ready? Yeah! Okay. Go ahead. That's wonderful. Give yourselves a hand. You all did a great job signing and a great job yeah! singing. Yeah! Yeah! All right. Yeah! So today we have learned about sign language. We learned a new song. We learned Thank You, Lord. And I want you to practice the sign language movements at your home. And I want you to rehearse singing the song while you're doing the movements. And then you'll be prepared for our concert later this year, okay? As for you, I want you to practice the song and the sign language exercises. You can replay the lesson and watch it as many times as you need to. But I want you to learn these exercises and practice them every day for one week so you can keep up with us and keep up with the class. So see you next time at the next lesson. Hi, my name is Ms. Chris. And today our main point is I will trust God with my fears. All right, my friends are going to join me on the stage. Our main point, friends, help me with my our main point today. I will trust God with my fears. One more time. I will trust God with my fears. One more time. I will trust God with my fears. And now, our lesson from the Bible. In Luke 8, 
22nd verse to 25th verse, we learn, One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat and started out. As they sailed across, Jesus settled down for a nap. But soon, a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water, and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke him up, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Suddenly, the storm stopped and all was calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? Do you have fears in your life? Is there something at school that makes you afraid? Or is there a dark corner in your house that makes you afraid? God can handle those fears as well. He can comfort you and he can send people who can help you handle your fears. Today's scripture reminds us just how powerful Jesus is. He spoke and the storm stopped. He didn't move mountains or even send a sign from heaven. He simply said stop and the storm stopped. Some fears aren't as quickly resolved as that storm was. Some fears stick with us for days or maybe even years but every storm has an ending. When we find ourselves in those scary situations, we can trust Jesus to calm our fears. We can pray, dear Jesus, please be with me and he will come through for you. Just as Jesus was in the boat with the disciples, he will stay by us through the bad times and still be there when the sun comes out. God doesn't want us to be fearful. He wants us to trust Jesus. Jesus is bigger than anything that scares you. And when you give your fears to Jesus, there will be sunlight after the storm. World Mountaineers, welcome back. And today we are going to knock out fear. We have Briella, we have Kalia, we have Jamani, and we have Mountain. Now, if you have these items at home, we're gonna give you a few seconds to go find them. A fly swatter, a bat, a racket, or just get something that you may have that can act like all three of those items, okay? I'm gonna give you a while to go find them. Okay, all right, so here we go. We're gonna pick up our fly swatter, and if you don't have one at home, just use your hand. And we are going to swap. We're gonna knock out any bugs that scare us. That fly swatter can kill flies. If you see a spider down on the ground, you can take it and you can hit that spider too. All right, excellent job. Put the fly swatters down. Now, if you have a racket at home, get your racket. And we're gonna use our rackets to knock fear back over the net. Never to come back, all right? Put your rackets down. And now we're gonna pick up our bat. And we're gonna use our bats to knock fear out of the park and our lives by trusting God. The Lord tells us he has given us power, love, and a sound mind. Not a spirit of fear. When we feel fear, may we remember to knock it out and embrace the power of love God has given us. Terrific job knocking fear out and embracing the power. Now, have a seat and see what we can learn from Trail Guide Jocelyn. Hey guys, I'm Jocelyn. How many of you guys are afraid of bugs? Roaches, ants, beetles? What about spiders? A lot of us are afraid of bugs, even adults. Bugs are smaller than us, but if something bugs us, we can just squish it with a fly swatter. We can use this to squish tiny problems like bugs. Some fears can be bigger than spiders. They can be overwhelming. But to Jesus, those fears are like tiny little bugs. They're easy to handle because nothing fears Jesus. Jesus created us and wants us to trust him with all our fears. And he'll smash those fears. Don't be afraid of the scary things. Give it to Jesus. He's bigger than all your fears. 
Hi boys and girls, now it's time for our spider race. Ooh, but don't be afraid. We've got two teams of crawlers that are gonna crawl through the orange cones and the first team that gets to the finish line wins. Here we go, let's start. And Mousy's gonna choose the word that fills in the blank. And Kalia is gonna hold up the words for Mounty to choose the correct one. If Mounty gets it right, Jemani's gonna give Mounty a high five. If he gets it right. If he gets it wrong, then she's gonna tell him he'll do better next time. We want you all to participate at home by pointing to the correct word on your screen or yelling the correct word. We hope you all do well. Let's get started. Our first sentence is, the disciples were in a blank when a thunderstorm struck. All right, go get my five. That order. The second sentence is, when the storm rocked the boat, Jesus was. The third sentence is, Jesus asked the disciples, where is your? I mean, sentence is, Jesus ordered the wind and the waves to blink and the storm went away. The last sentence is, Jesus is blank than all of our fears. Once upon a time, there is an old dark house, and in that old dark house, there lived a hairy old man with red eyes. In that old dark house that lived that hairy old man with red eyes was in the middle of the woods. And in the middle of the woods, with the old man that lived in the house, there was a spider. And with that spider was a giant magical spider. Did we mention anything that's too big or scary for Jesus to help us with? Nope, because he can handle all of our fears. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't walk in darkness. Because you have the light that leads to life. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't walk in darkness. 
Because you have the light that leads to life. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't walk in darkness. Because you have the light that leads to life. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't walk in darkness. Because you have the light that leads to life. All right, boys and girls, ask your parents to record you singing the memory verse to your favorite tune and post it on our Facebook or our Twitter page at MCM underscore Chesapeake. Well, it's craft time. As you can see, there's something on me. And I'm doing well because I'm not hollering and I'm not screaming because I am trusting God with my fears as this spider sits on my shoulder and in my hand. So, what you do is you can get some pipe cleaners and you can get some yarn and you can create a spider and so that's what we want you all to create this week use some yarn and use pipe cleaners so you get your yarn and kind of put it all together and then you put your pipe cleaners around it and then you kind of fold it up and you make these little legs to go with it. all right now you know that we want to see them and you can ask your parents to maybe get you some glow in the dark or some neon colors and make it a little bit even more fancy all right now why do we create this spider? Because it's going to remind us that Jesus is bigger than all of our fears. Even giant glow in the dark spiders. Join us next week for another episode of Mountaineers Adventures as we learn about how to bounce back from a challenge. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.